Good morning to the Wildcats win their fourth straight over the Louisville Cardinals Saturday and Kentucky head coach John Calipari is now eight and one against Rick Pitino. So much made of Cal's one and Dunners, but Saturday the win was all about the veterans. It starts with Dominique Hawkins who replaced the injured Isaiah Briscoe season high 26 minutes career high 13 points. Marcus Lee, Alex Poitras and Tyler Ulis. Yeah, they also got the job done like that 35 foot three ball right there. Uh, the four vets combined for 54 points to beat the cards. Kentucky also set a season high with 11 made three pointers. I mean, I did two things. Like I said, I'm, I'm mad at myself. The three point shooting stuff I should have done all year. It should have been who we were. I should have known we were struggling shooting threes. You got to free up their minds. And then the second thing was screening and then making Scow screen. Uh, and I'm telling you, Ty screens like he screens he screens his man your man and you're the guy coming off you all get screened and Isaac is the same so now we're doing a better job Alex did a better job next up for the basketball cats is Ole Miss both teams at 10 and 2 on the season it's this Saturday January 2nd the Rebels are on a seven game win streak this game will be televised live on the SEC network if you're not going to make the trip to Rupp Arena Saturday seven o'clock tip time in Lexington. Marshall at number four, Maryland Sunday. First half, Maryland up 11. Rashid Suleiman. He transferred over from Duke. Looks real good. 14 points, five rebounds, four assists. Maryland up 13. Under five minutes le left in the half. Austin Loop. Look at the flick of the wrist. Whoop. Heard down 37 36. He had 11 points. How about some mellow? Mellow Trimble. Oh my goodness. 13 points, seven assists, some sweet hair. Maryland up eight. Second half, Marshall has numbers on the break. Steve Browning up to James Kelly. Two-handed flush, Marshall's still down double digits. Later, it's, oh, it's Mello again. Mello Trimble to Robert Carter. Banging on him, he finished with 19 points, eight rebounds, fifth straight win for the Terps. They beat Marshall, 87. 67. A lot of fun high school basketball holiday tournaments beginning yesterday. One of those right here in Hazard, Kentucky, the Lady Bulldog Holiday Classic. 12 teams vying for the championship inside Memorial Gym. We start with the number seven team in our mountain top 10. Let's do it. The Shelby Valley Lady Cats. Rodney Rose team eight and one to start the season. Mark Cullett and Alyssa County Lady Eagles nine and one to start the year. First half, first quarter, Lake and Mullins. I like that. And then Madison comes. Good ball rotation here by the Leslie County Lady Eagles. One point game. Summer Rose taking over the point guard position this year for Valley, filling the role of Taylor Rowe, who graduated. Good pass there, and then nice little finish by Kayla Newsom. Under a minute to go now in the quarter, Emily Griffith. Top of the key. Doink. Buckets. Game tied at 14 at the end of one quarter. Second quarter, Rose. Splash. She's a sophomore. Later, Shelby Sparks for Leslie County, feeding down low to, to Katie Gay. Now, this is a mismatch. Gay versus Rose. She just turns. That's a good paint touch. Shelby Valley wins by just one point, 49 to 48. Game before that, Jana Jarvis and head coach Brandon Gearhart. It's the Lady Black Cats of Prestonsburg taking on Menifee County. Black Cats, uh, they've lost seven in a row, and then they won once. They're trying to win their second in a row. That was Allison Hall. And then there's Tiffany Meadows. That's nice. Great individual play here by Jarvis. She grabs the rebound. Nice around the back. She has good, good skill, right? I'm going to call that a shot. I don't think, well, you know, I think she just threw it up there to get a rebound. Makes it easy, whatever. Second one goes, p down four. Second quarter, Mara Walker, she did not want to be in the loser's bracket, all right? She wanted to stay in the winner's bracket. Took her team on the back. She makes the layup there, and then I don't know what this is. Hey, coach, this is all good. I scored 19, right? Later, Meadows takes it 90 feet down the court. Uh, not enough, though, for Prestonsburg. They lose the game to Minifee County 69 to 55. Last game of the night last night. Hazard taking on Betsy Lane. Olivia Holland. My girl, she had it going. Range. D. 
defense. And then later off the rebound, a nice and one bucket. 16 first half points for Olivia Holland. Uh, later first quarter, Haley Cottle, she's a seventh grader. I like saying that because she's so good. Like that floater plus and one. Are you, are you for real? And then later, uh, she just knocks down the three. Thank you very much. Hazard up 19 to 11. Second quarter, Alex Cisco. One dribble in, then takes a shot. Betsy Lane still down six, but you know, like I said, no one stopped Holland. Someone guard her. Team high 22 for Olivia Holland. Johnson just one of two seniors on this team. She takes it to the rack here. Nine points for Colby Johnson on the night. Lady Bulldogs extending the lead 33-21. Emily Kidd later, right before the half, she gets this bucket. But Hazard leads 40 to 25 at the break. Kid with 18 points in the night. Second half, third quarter, Megan Frazier. Game high 29 for her, but Hazard wins and advances to the winner's bracket 78 to 61. All right, let's go to the traditional bank classic out at Lexington Catholic last night. It's the boys, number four, Perry Central, taking on Dunbar. Dunbar, one of the better teams in the state. That's Justin Kelly for the lay-in. And then later, oh, Damon Tober. He gets swatted. And, yeah, he lifts. He had 12. Matt Turner, I'm not sure how many points he had, but he can stroke it. Now, Perry Central loses by 10, but like I said, Dunbar, one of the better teams in the state. Perry Central falls 53 to 43. A former Kentucky Wildcat and now Phoenix son, Eric Bledsoe, will have surgery Tuesday tomorrow to repair a torn meniscus in his left knee. He's averaging a career-high 20 points right now and six assists. Meanwhile, Whitney Creech, she scored 60 points last night, and Jenkins defeated Montgomery County 70 to 54. She's now the second all-time leading scorer in Kentucky girls high school basketball history. I had to keep up with her because she's probably going to break that record. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.